Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel where today we are going to explore more about how you can bend shapes in SketchUp. So for this, you need to have the extension Shape Bender. You can find the download link of the extension in the description below or else you can download this extension in the SketchUp extension warehouse. So without wasting any other time, let's get started. To start with, we have a basic geometrical shape and it's a ramp. How we can start is you can you need to have a object. Secondly, you need a baseline. Third, third, you need to have a curve along which you want to bend your shape. So to start with, you have to select the object and then click on the shape bender extension. Click on this and then select the baseline. You can see it is showing us start and the end, which tells us that is this is the start point and this is the end point of your reference line and then select the curve line once you clicked on the curve line it will give you this wireframe sort of thing which tells you that where your object is going to cover so these green lines are basically where your object is going to be placed and the red lines are the base for the object now if you see carefully you have a distance from this black line which is your main reference line and when i click enter uh, you can see that place my object along the curve now the distance between this line and this line is same. So if you want to avoid this thing, then you can simply move your object or either your line, just simply move your line to your near to your object and then select the object, click on the shape bender tool, select the object and then select the curve. Once selected the curve, you can see you have your ramp along the curve. Now you can use your upper keys to shift the direction of the object and when you are satisfied with your final product, you can simply click on enter. Now this was an easy way to how you can make a curve ramp. Well, we have a lot of ways to do that. We'll try to cover that in another video. For now, we are just sticking to how you can bend shapes in SketchUp. So the second example is the railing. Well, there are a lot of situations where you need the curved railings or you need the railing as per your custom design. So this tool can help you make the custom designs of railing easily so wh what again you have to do is you have to select the railing now first of all i'll go close and i'll sh show you the details we have the top rail we have the bottom blasters and al along we have the design so now we are going to select this uh, particular object then click on again our shape bender select the single line and then click on the main curve line once you click on this it will take a little bit of time to make your object as a wireframe object to appear there. So let me just zoom in. As you can see, this particular design is bended along the curve and there is no distortion in the object. And again, you can use your upper keys or the lower keys to uh, replace the direction. Once you're satisfied, just simply click on enter. See, you can zoom in and you can see the details. The thing is, they look exactly similar. And now we have a curved or you can say a bended railing as per our design. Not only this, you can also bend the staircase along the angles you need. So for that, you have to have your staircase object as a component or a group. Select the tool and then click on the line and then select your curve line. It is showing you again the wireframe figure that how you need to place it. You can use your upper key to change the direction from left to right. And once you're done, you can simply click on enter and there you have it. Well, again, there are a lot of ways to bend your staircase. It's just an example that what all things you can do by using this shape bender tool. Coming towards the next. Now here we have a helix circle thing. Click on this line. You see the length of the object. Now with it is 34711. So let's just uh, let's just make the length of the rectangle exactly the same of the 34711. So let's just do it the same 34711. Okay, nice. So it's almost similar. Yeah, now it's clear. And now we are going to perform the task again. Now we are going to select this object, click on the shape bender tool and clicking on the straight line. Now again, click on the curve line. As you can see, it is going to take that very nice pattern of along the curve. So I'll just simply click on enter. You can see now again, uh, this thing is the segment thing. For this, you need to have better segments for your curve you're using right now we were not using a lot more of segments so that's why it is showing this diagonal lines on the edges 
But again, this is just an example how you can use this tool. If we go down, as you can see, we have a lot of less segments used in this particular example. Now, if you move further, I'm putting some example on the screen. These are some of the example which we are using to create this thing. So I'll tell you what all things you don't have to do when you usually use the shape bender thing and what are the errors which usually comes and thing. So now we have this shape as per the diagram and we have this staircase which, are, which I'm going to use for that. And again, we have a line which we are going to use for the reference. Now, again, this is a component and now we're going to select this and simply go to shape bender. And we're going to select our line which says start and the end direction and now simply click on the curve it will take a line now as you can see the shape is not coming exactly what you have to do is you have to click your down key on your keyboard and now it's going to stick to the geometry so we'll click on the upper key and now again we are getting the, geomet the right geometries over here but again they are interacting here uh, so I'll click on uh, the upper key again. You can see the geometries are interacting here again. So I'll click on the enter key. Now, as you can see, we have geometries interacting with us. Now, why this thing is happening? Because now the distance is too much. Like if you go to this particular thing and we uh, see the distance, now it's 3000 mm. Now, what happened if we decrease this particular distance? So we have another example with the decreased distance, with the decreased width of this. We're going to select this component, click on the shape bender, click on the line. And then again, click on this particular path. Now, if I zoom in, you can see the wireframe and you will not see any interaction happening in any object. As you can see, when we move further, you can get a similar sort of geometry. And in similar ways, I'm putting some images that what all things you can make using this particular tool and what can be the outcomes along with this. Now again, we have a custom made shape. Now uh, these are two different curves. So select this one and just go to extension and use the weld extension to weld both the curves. And now it's a singular curve. And now it's also giving us the length. So right now I'm not uh, working on the length part. Let's just select this object, which is again a triangular shape thing, which is not having any base. And simply click on this, click on the tool, select the line and then select the curve. As you can see, it is taking the nice shape along the curve. So I'll click, simply select the upper key to see the variations, what all variations I can see and simply click on enter when I satisfy. Now it's your turn to get creative with shape bender extension in SketchUp. Bend objects along curves, experiment with unique shapes and let your imagination soar. We can't wait to see what you create. Share your design in the comments below and let's inspire each other. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting tutorials.